<laughs> it's Greenhouse Day. Yes. And we're here now. Yeah. And I'm here with Rachel Roots. Hi. And she is the Master Gardener Coordinator and Queen Anne's County Horticulture Educator. Awesome. Got it. We're ready to rock this time. <laughs> and today we're learning about seeds. Yes. How to plant them. Yes. How to make your garden beautiful. We'll get to that in another episode. <laughs> okay. So what we got here? So we have some squash seeds. Ooh, squash. Everybody grows squash, right? Mexican sour gherkins. These are kind of my favorite. Mexican sour gherkins. Yeah, they're like little tiny pickles. <laughs> they're like they're about the size of a quarter. They're love my it. favorite. They grow on a vine. They're a trellis. They're awesome. And then some dill. Who doesn't love dill? Yeah, everyone knows the dill. Yeah. Yeah. It's great for pickles again. <laughs> so you have a theme. <laughs> yeah. So what are we playing today? Because we're only doing two of them, right? Sure. Sure. We're gonna do squash. Oh, we're doing squash. Yes, we're gonna do squash. We're doing one. We're gonna do one. So the first thing that you need to do when you buy a seed packet at your hardware store, or your garden supply, is to look at it. Do you see it? I see it. Okay. It looks ready. It, it, they give you a very good depiction of what the plant, the harvest will look like. Right. So there's a couple of things on here. It tells you the name. Okay. And then it tells you the scientific name. So what's the scientific name on this? Do you want to say it? That's a uh, squash. Squash. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll tell you a couple other things. It'll tell you if it needs full sun, partial sun, or full shade. So okay. this squash needs full sun. And then it will also tell you days to maturity. So days from the time that you plant it until you can harvest a fruit. Okay. So that kind of tells you when you need to start your seeds. So this is a 50 days to a maturity. This so, is gonna be a long shoot. For real. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just do a time lapse Yeah, okay, video. yeah, perfect, that's great, yeah. Oh, we should do that. <laughs> um, so from the time that this seed is planted, 50 days from now, you should have a little baby squash that you could eat. Ooh, baby Ooh. squash, great. Yeah. And then if you flip the packet over, it will tell you some other information that you really do need how deep the seed needs to be planted in mm -hmm. your soilless mix, and then the spacing between plants if you're going to direct seed it in the ground. So squash is one of those that you could start in about three weeks from now, um, or you could just put it in the ground right after Mother's Day. Oh, okay. And then 50 days from Mother's Day, you would have some squash. So for Mother's Day this year, I should get my mom some- Squash seeds. Some squash seeds. They're only 229, mom. Well, I'll get her more than one pack. <laughs> 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 and so there's some other helpful information on here for direct sow. They give you a guideline for the whole United States. Mm -hmm. um, so Maryland is in the purple. So we're about April to August. You can direct sow and still get a harvest. Okay, great. So, so we're, right, we're right in there. We're kind of in there, yeah. 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 So these will be at our plant sale on May 12th at the um, in front of the sheriff's office. We're there from 9 to 12. Um, so squash seeds are pretty big, and that's why I wanted to kind of do a demonstration on how to plant them. Because, you know, if you have a dill seed versus a Mexican sour gherkin, they're mm -hmm. kind of tiny. You really can't see those. So you want to read the directions for me? Oh, my goodness, yes. Can you read that? Where, where am it's I? Tiny. Are you, are you here? Right there. The green. The green. Yeah. So in rich, fertile soil after danger of frost. Mm -hmm. So one to two seeds about 36 inches apart and cover with one inch of fine soil. Mm -hmm. Is that what we have here? This nice fine soil? Yes, fine soil. Firm lightly and keep everything evenly moist. Seedlings emerge in 10 to 14 days. Harvest often and when fruits are small. Oh, good. So, but what is the depth? How, how one deep? Inch. One inch. So what's about one inch? Like this much? Yeah, right? Yeah, that's about one inch. Yeah. So you just kind of do a little hole, nice and gentle. That's too deep. I went too deep. You went too deep. Damn See, it. you know what I would have did though? Like what? if you wouldn't have told me anything, I just would have put it at the bottom and put the dirt on top. Yeah, and Is then that it would have. Yes, and then it would have never germinated. How about that? That yeah, that's good. <laughs> she lied. She fixed it and <laughs> told me it was good. <laughs> Sorry. <It's, laughs> that's what that's what happens. That's, right. that's, that's why you're teaching me and yeah. I'm just holding the pack now. So and then it for squash, it doesn't really matter which way you point it up or point it down. Okay. They have a little mechanism that will kind of turn turn tell it which way to go up. So you'll have a little hyper Yeah. Okay. Well, plants, you know, they've been around for a lot longer than humans, right? True. True. Right? And then you just kind of drop it in the hole 
and cover it. And you always want to make sure oh, that I you pat that. it. I can do that. So it might, has a nice little firm soil mm -hmm. to seed contact. I only did one. And I already guarantee you're going to fix it. Watch. Is that good? I knew it. I knew it. Can't help it. <laughs> um, and then you want to make sure you water them. Right. So when you're starting your seeds, you want to make sure that you choose a soilless mix. You don't want to use garden soil. It's a little too heavy to start seeds. Um, so a soilless mix is, you can pick it up at any hardware store or garden supply center. Um, and it contains usually perlite, vermiculite, peat moss, and some nutrients for your seeds to start growing. Um, and then once your seeds are about five to six weeks old, you can hit them with some fertilizer. Okay. Just so they grow and get healthy before you put them out in the ground. All right. Okay. So you have your seeds. So yes. I, I also have to get mom. Soilless soil. mix. Soilless and mix. one of these containers. <laughs> it's just the prices just keep adding <laughs> yeah, up here. I mean, she's back down to one pack. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mom. <laughs> Way to go. So we have it all packed. So yeah. now it's watering time. So now it's watering time. Yeah. How much water? You just sprinkle it until it's moist. You don't want to saturate it. Oh, yeah. It said that. I read that yeah. in directions. <laughs> Jeez, you can't take them anywhere. So so we'll, we'll get it nice and moist. So we don't want mm -hmm. to oversaturate. And then mm -hmm. we're waiting. You wait. Yeah. So about 10 to 14 days, it should germinate. Okay. Okay. So we'll start to see it coming through. Mm-hmm. And you'll see the nice little cotyledons. Those are the first leaves that come up. And they'll be just be like, hey, I'm here. <laughs> What's up? And then we're done? Yeah. It's that simple? Yeah. You made it easy. Oh. So now they have everything they need. Maybe. To make their squash grow. <laughs> yeah. Just don't invite me to help you. Yeah. He doesn't do it right. That's <laughs> I tried my best, Mom. <laughs> well, thank you for having us and showing no us. No problem. No problem. Squash. Anytime. Coming soon. 50 days. 50. 50 Near days. <laughs>